So for today, I have a, an unusual story for you all. For those of you who don't know me before this, I'm a professional rock climber of sorts. Uh, and uh, yesterday I participated in a grip strength competition, my first of its kind. And it was kind of a unique experience, to say the least. So imagine that you're walking in and it's like 50, 60 massive dudes. Can I see? <laughs> I'm like a child. <laughs> you're still so strong in your grip, that's incredible. But yeah, the, the, the entire event was seven different events. The Saxon Bar, I think the first one's called. Uh, something called a Raptor Medley. Uh, Rogue Anvil Lift. The uh, kind of like a rock pinch lift type of thing was the fourth one. Fifth one is a Thomas Inch Dumbbell, which is like a, a fat ass dumbbell with a fat handle. Sixth one was called Blob Medley, I believe. You lift these massive blobs. And then the last one is called a Farmer's Lift, where you take 150 kgs and you lift them for as long as you can and hope your body doesn't implode while you do this. I started off the event having no real clue what the actual things we were gonna do were, um, but I was mega psyched and as a climber, we train our grips essentially every single day for hours on end. So I knew that I'd have a pretty good shot at doing something, but it's hard to know when you're up against people twice your size, if that you know extra training that you've done is gonna transfer or not. Down. Good lift. As I start getting acquainted with the lift, I do realize that I could probably push this quite a bit, but it's hard to say just how far I can get this thing to go. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here! As I see some of these giant dudes starting to drop off, I realize that it's gonna start getting heavy soon. Uh, but it wasn't until my mate Theodore, who also has a YouTube channel, got close to dropping it that I knew it was time to start pulling out the big guns. Come on, Teddy, come on! Yes! Go on, you got that, come on! Come on, Teddy, come on! <laughs> No. I've survived for quite some time and the next one is the 100 kilogram goal that I set out after having no idea how hard this would be. But it's going really well, so I'm psyched to see if I can do that. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> The Giants kept on pulling a little while longer and the highest score ended up being 120 kilograms, putting me in a ninth position at this event out of 53 competitors. So I made a friend at this event and... Uh... Hello! <laughs> how, much, how much do you weigh, man? I'm uh, weighing, uh, before this event I weighed 157.6 kilograms. Oh, you're like sp almost spot on twice my size. Maybe, yeah. yeah that's, that's pretty crazy. At least how much do you weigh? Uh, I weighed in at 79.6. So yeah. you're like just below twice my size. Yeah, yeah, freaky. <laughs> I've, I've never met a man this large, actually, that I like, I feel like a kid again. <laughs> you know, like looking up. Uh, actually, I have some questions. Um, yeah? So we have a bunch of fun events here. Which, mm -hmm. in your opinion, is like the three most strongman related ones? 
Which which are they? Yeah. Um, if you're like yeah, cause there's a lot of different ones. Like lo lifting the rocks, for instance. Yeah, I yeah, it's yeah. More like rock climbing. Yeah. But which are like the strongman? Uh, oh, definitely the farmer's hold for max test, yeah. <laughs> max uh, duration. Yeah. It's very similar to. Well, I've done a car hold, like holding a car for the max oh, time, really? and I, I won that back two years ago. <laughs> and then also like a Hercules hold, when you have, you have 440 kilograms pulling us in two different oh, directions. Like yeah. 140 per side? Yeah, per side. So. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Jesus I, I usually do pretty pretty good ones. Okay. And yeah, the other two, um, I mean, I think probably the Saxon bar deadlift. Okay. That's pretty similar to, yeah. because we have to have, obviously have deadlift. Yeah. But uh, yeah, these are pretty special, like just grip things for grip events. Yeah. We, we, we use the same implements maybe like the circus dumbbell, the Thomas Hintz dumbbell. Okay. But we have to press them overhead with one arm. Oh, yeah. So, like, we're, I'm not used to just picking it up. We have yeah. to like put them all the way yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. You said the the Saxton or like the farmer's fall yeah, first. Yeah. Saxton, Saxton. Yeah, and probably the Thomas Inch dumbbell thing. However, we have a few more lifts to do before we get into the Thomas Inch. Starting off with the next one, which is the Raptor medley. This guy, Frederick, uh, who recently won the event of strongest man in Sweden, could lift 82 kilograms with this. Now this man can bench press roughly three times as much as I can and he could probably squish me like a little little bug if you wanted to. But the question is, can he grip more than me in this rotating grip? Let's find out. Och så får jag mer tid efter denna. Getting heavy. Legs are too weak, man. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so I was just informed by this gentleman that I, I broke the world record by what? 15 kilos about. Is it 15? Yeah, yeah, like 15 kilos. So success. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. <laughs> Fuck. That's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Next up was the rogue anvil lift for time, and my giant friend Theodore was on it, battling to keep his grip. Now, I really didn't understand what was a good score or even how to actually hold this thing, but I fought hard and uh, generally speaking, my pea-sized brain just thinks big numbers make brain go woo. So these endurance feats, they just feel a lot more difficult to try hard in, than the other ones. Good. Nevertheless, I managed to hold it for a total of 42 seconds, which put me in a 14th position. Going into the fourth event, I was... Everyone I'd been talking to were like, oh yeah, this is yours, because you were supposed to lift a bunch of rocks. And I, for some reason, didn't have the confidence for it. Um, we do climb on rocks, but then we're like trying to pull the rocks off the wall, right? We're not trying to um, lift them. So it's, 
a totally new territory. Like I'm used to how, holding my hand on a rock, but not in that way. Uh, so it was actually really stressful. It was like, um, there was almost like a pressure in it. There. There. Ska man skippa lite? Ja. Yeah, so I just finished the stone lifting competition, which everyone was expecting me to do okay at, and it was by far the worst one so far. Something about like lifting these was like, I just didn't get, get it, and you start to get flappers, so it was brutal. Um, but no, the rock climber wasn't good with the rocks. Okay, next up is the uh, Thomas Inch Dumbbell, which is like a, an impossible to lift dumbbell. Um, it isn't, and it has been lifted by many people, but there's like a golden standard at 78 kilos, which is kind of my goal. And I'm going head to head with somebody, uh, so I'm going to be challenging someone on the next grip thing. And uh, I think I can do pretty well on this one. The first goal is to do the Thomas Inch, like beat that impossible lift, and then just see how far I can take it. But I feel pretty confident that I can do that. Oh. 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 
Good fun. <laughs> fucking fried my brain. Oh, fucking hell. Ooh. <laughs> I'm currently in the lead on this one, on the Thomas Inch dumbbells, but the massive monsters are approaching and I think somebody's gonna beat it. The event kept on going and my score of 88 kilograms was not lightly beaten. So I think the two absolute beasts are just arriving. I still have the first place, but uh, or like the highest score, but I think it's gonna be shattered now, so get ready for, some, for a good show. <laughs> I kept the highest score for a long time, but it was time for Kim Yu Wan-son, a man with an insane crushing grip, to show his strengths. The start looked pretty casual for him, but he decided to skip the 88 kilogram and head straight for the 92 one. This meant that if he couldn't lift it, I would be deemed the winner of this event. However, this dumbbell proved no issue for our giant and he even went on to lift the 97 kilogram Thomas Inch dumbbell as well. In the end, I shared a second place together with Patrick here, which obviously blew my expectations out of the waters. However, I couldn't quite accept the 88 kilogram high score and went back after the round to try and lift the 92 kilogram as well. Okay. Just making sure, yeah. Uh, so uh, this was really cool because 88 kilograms in that was way above what I was expecting and definitely is something that was like damn okay i'm so psyched on this but i placed second in the event overall which kind of you know like it was this thing where i earned it earned me the respect of the strongmen so a lot of people came up to me after and was like damn dude that's good that's strong and i've kind of felt a part of the gang i would say uh not that i didn't feel a part of the gang before everyone has been absolutely you know fantastic people the strongman community is like so wholesome and welcoming. I've actually really, really appreciated it throughout the competition. Um, and moving into the next one, I was kind of like, I'm done. You know, I'm really happy with my performance. Two more things to do. We'll see how it goes. The sixth one was called the Blob Inch Medley. And it's just this really weird wide pinch that you're supposed to lift. And it's just a big blob. And I've been touching these a little bit before the comp. And I kind of thought I would flunk this one completely. Ready, set, go. Oh, uh, yeah. Should I go back? No? Yeah. How much time? Oh. Now apparently this result was actually really really good and I ended up in a shared second position here as well. 
However, that's mostly because there was a total of 11 people getting stuck on the same blob since the lift after this 21 kilogram one was 24. Now, just an honorable mention goes out to Thomas Larsen, who is a Norwegian powerhouse who crushed all the way up to 25 kilograms, earning a well-deserved win in this event. It's heyday time. We're gonna do farmer's lift, which is apparently lifting like 300 kilos and then just standing with it for as long as you can. I think you can choose between 150 added on each arm or 120, and I'm gonna go for 120 because while I do find it very amusing to try and break myself and my, you know, arms and everything, I think if I go for 150 on each arm, my back is gonna explode. So the goal is to just get it up, hold it for a few seconds, see how it feels, and then just surrender as soon as something starts cracking a bit because, yeah, I don't wanna break my back. <laughs> And so on this farmer's lift thing, it was this, it was this build up of, of like, we were waiting for maybe an hour because I placed second in the event before. So I started really late on this one and I could see all of these huge men, you know, lifting this fucking thing, heavily pulling hard just to get it off the ground. And I know these guys can do twice my deadlift. So I, it's like a no brainer that this is going to be hard for me. And I see them pull the hell out of just lifting it and then almost freaking passing out after the lift no joke i saw so many people like l tilting back and forth from being so exhausted of it and the the people helping out uh they had to like run up to them and, and kind of stop them from fainting i got so freaking stoked to try it because it was like the strongman event of the event so kind of the the uh, rite of passage in a way uh, but you know i still had this like pretty large amount of doubt in my mind that it was going to be worth it. Help. Yeah, come on, Theodore. After a while, it was Theodore's time to go, and he was standing there huffing, puffing like a giant bull and just fighting it out. He managed to get the highest score of 51 seconds in this event, which got me so freaking psyched. Come on! Whoa! Oh, Keep fighting! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh. <laughs> so I decided to join in and try 150 kgs on each arm myself. Fucking big dude! Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it looks so freaking tiring. <laughs> come on dude. A little bit, yeah. My, my, my forearms are toast. Your forearms are toast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright dude. Not ready. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. I just, yeah, uh, yeah. The Giants kept going and in the end, the event was finally settled between Patrick Hayes and Kim Yuansan, who placed first and third respectively in the entire competition. I ended up in 16th position, dropping quite a few numbers in the last event of the day. However, I didn't quite leave without a prize. And the winner of Best Pound for Pound Filter is Emil Abramsson. This was awesome. I freaking love this. Thank you so much. <laughs> so yeah. I did okay in a, in a strongman field, kind of. You won the strongman competition, man. <laughs> yeah! I'll have to come visit you sometime. Oh, by the way, uh, you yeah. got a YouTube channel? What, yeah. What's it called? It's my name, uh, Theodore Mar TV. So that's T H E O D O R M A R T V. And yeah, that's my YouTube channel. I always doing videos there. Yeah, go check it out. I'll put a link in the description. I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>